in 1918. The place was founded by immigrants that came from a small town called Vasto in the region of Abruzzo in southern Italy. They didn't have a penny in their pocket. They didn't speak the language. So they built this club, the society, to help them become Americans. It was a, a meeting place for them to uh, gather and talk about politics, talk about how they could get jobs here, and, and, and that's how it really started. And they would come and they would eat, they would have some drinks at the bar, and just get together and create a community here in South Philadelphia. When Italians first came to America, they were not necessarily a wholeheartedly embraced community, both in America and in Italy, there was a lot of discrimination against Southern Italians, darker skinned, et cetera. You had a lot of cases where fathers went over first and then kids and wives followed, uh, but many people who came here, it was a strange place. When you come into a strange place, you know, what do you look for first? You want to kind of reconnect and reestablish what is familiar and what's comforting to you. And for many of these people that came over from Southern Italy, it was food, it was connection to family and friends and people from not only their country, not only their region, but their small town, which is how something like Polizzi a Social Club came to be in its earliest iteration. In order to be a member here, you had to be from this one small town by the sea, and that's kind of how these people rebuilt their connections in a foreign world. In 1918, it was certified. The charter is actually right behind me on the wall with all the names of the gentlemen that came over, and it was a men's only club at first. If there was an illness in the family or a funeral or some kind of special occasion, the dues that they would pay each month would help pay for a funeral or an unseen costs that they would need to take care of their families. This was kind of a building block to help them stabilize in American culture. Food was always an integral part of this place. And in my culture, it's everything. That's part of Italian culture is to work hard and then also enjoy life. Some of the photos that are on the walls of them having big meals here, they took it so seriously. There's so many documents that I have, books and ledgers and hours of meetings of what they were talking about, but there was always food involved and always an atmosphere of togetherness. It was really meant for men from the town of Vasto. And as immigration grew and more Italians came to the United States, they expanded it and when I took over three years ago, I made it a little more inclusive for all people to be able to come and experience what I experienced as a child. So I feel like that's my legacy and that's what I contributed to the society. Can I see your membership, please? What is so commendable about Joey and this place is he doesn't see it like a restaurant or like a business. For him, he is like the steward of this living relic of South Philly. It speaks to him as who he is as, as a chef and a guy, but I think it's just so important for us to be able to have something well-preserved from the old neighborhood, so to speak, but also something that everybody, if you're a member, no matter where you come from or who you are, whether you're Italian or not Italian, you can partake in this and participate and kind of get a little glimpse of like what this part of South Philly, you know, was all about for quite a long time. The book came about one day when I was going through all of the old ledgers and meeting minutes and they had books, I mean, about this thick starting from like 1918 all the way up to probably 1995 of just stories and what they did. My uncle made grappa over here. So there, there's so much history. And I thought, wouldn't it be good to honor these guys in a way to make my own ledger? So a lot of the recipes that are in the book are old, 
family recipes from my grandparents, my uncle, who recently passed, the spaghetti and crab, it's an Italian and American staple. So those were the things that I really wanted to get across. I got a book here. All right. I hand chose Adam Arace for the specific reason that we're both from South Philadelphia and we're both Italian Americans. And I really felt like Adam would have a real understanding and a real grasp of it's so the experience of the Polizzi Club because he lived it as well. This represents so much of where, you know, who we are and where we come from. Yeah. We have a little map on where we get our mozzarella cheese and where, where we get our bread. And there's a whole slew of different elements to the book, which I really love. When Joe and I started talking about it, we knew it would be a cookbook with amazing recipes, but to have just recipes and not present them in the context of what that means both in Polizzi Social Club and in the Italian American community in South Philly, it wouldn't make sense. It would be a half-done book. It's really important, you know, for me to represent my community and my culture as best I can. That's what we did um, in, in writing this book. I walk in every day. I look at the photos and I think to myself, this is why I do what I do here. I'm almost like a curator of this place because there's so much history. And I do what I do for those guys in those photos. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Thank you. Well, thank you.